Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Monday, July 19th. Well, it's probably not news to you that the number of foreclosures have been up in the past uh, couple years, and also up with that is the number of people who have been trying to take advantage of that, uh, scooping in, uh, buying up some of these foreclosed homes, fixing them up, and then trying to sell them on the obviously still struggling housing market. Well, we have an interesting story today you want to check out of uh, Edward Raseo, a local builder who did just such a thing. He bought up a house in Methuen. The one caveat for uh, the auction, however, was that the bidders could not go inside the house. So he bought it, uh, decided he would fix it up. Once he bought the house, however, he had an interesting surprise of what was inside. And it wasn't an issue of the condition of the house, it was who was in it. The former owner of 12 years was still occupying the house. Now the homeowner, uh, Tamara Petonio, uh, says she actually had the misfortune of falling behind in her mortgage before those government programs went into effect. Uh, that allowed people to uh, to find ways to refinance or stay in their homes afterwards. So she was unable to take advantage of that. She actually has now been evicted. Now the story just highlights an ongoing problem. Even though the economy uh, seems to be on the rebound, uh, the area of uh, foreclosures and the housing market continue to sag. According to Realty Inc., uh, by the end of 2010, about a million homes will have gone into foreclosure this year alone. Well, I mentioned last week uh, that the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights is actually having a hearing right in Lawrence tomorrow around 9.30 a.m. at the uh, Lawrence Public Library. We're going to be on hand to cover that. They are going to be discussing bilingual education. Now, of course, Massachusetts uh, passed that uh, English immersion uh, law a couple years ago. Uh, The commission is going to be uh, discussing that. There'll be several panel members uh, on board. So we're going to be there uh, actually streaming live video from uh, the library. So you'll be able to catch that on our website tomorrow. We'll have a link for it right up on the home page. You can click on that and go to the live feed. Now the commission said they're also holding a hearing later on in the day uh, to discuss other issues that are perhaps more relevant uh, to uh, specifically the city of Lawrence. Uh, specifically they're uh, going to be addressing some issues uh, dealing with um, uh, voter uh, rights uh, violations and there have been a couple lawsuits in the past uh, with the city over that, as well as uh, allegations of police brutality. Uh, Chief Romero is going to be on hand uh, for both of those, we're told, and uh, will be one of the panelists. So we'll be on hand tomorrow. We're going to stream live video to you of uh, whatever the discussion is and wherever it goes. Should be interesting. Well, just a reminder, as always, you can find all of this content at eaglesview.com right now.